Hey everybody, we are so excited. It is one o'clock on Wednesday, so it's time to exercise. Go ahead and find yourself a chair. Also, if you want a couple water bottles for weights, or really you could use anything. You could use a couple of books, a couple of gallons of milk if you're feeling extra strong. Whatever you have around the house, just find two matching items, and those can be your weights for today. So while you get your chair, and your weights, here's some things to look forward to. This coming Friday from nine to 12, Farmer Keith is gonna have a farm stand on the Mercy Med Farm. So you can get all your spring vegetables and he is really looking forward to seeing you. What you need to do is make sure if you're coming to the farm stand on Friday, wear a mask. It doesn't matter if it's a homemade mask, it, whatever you have, even if it's a bandana, we can all look like we're in the wild, wild west, and that will be just fine. Um, so get your mask on. That's this Friday, May the 8th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, use your social distancing when you come, and also park on 3rd Avenue. So the parking right next to the farm is now for our COVID positive patients, and we would like for you to park on 3rd Avenue so you can come and get your vegetables. Uh, also, next week on Wednesday, at the same time, at one o'clock on Wednesday, I'll be interviewing Keith and we're gonna do Ask the Farmer special segment. All right, and without further ado, here is Scott with our devotion for today. So you got your chair, you got your weights, and here we go. All right, hey guys. Uh, I'm Scott, I'm the physical therapist at Mercy Med. Welcome to our exercise club. We're so glad you could join us. And, uh, we're glad that for all of our regulars who are back and, and, uh, and we're glad for anybody who's showing up for the first time. So thanks for coming out to join us. When we do our exercise club, we always start by, uh, by reading a little bit of scripture, uh, to get us centered and get our minds right before we start to exercise. And so we're gonna start with that today. And I'm just gonna read to you from Romans chapter 12. Uh, this is what Romans chapter 12, verse 9 to 12 says. It says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Detest evil and cling to what is good. Love one another deeply as brothers and sisters. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lack diligence and zeal. Be fervent in the spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction and be persistent in prayer. I just want to read that last line one more time. It says, rejoice in hope and be patient in affliction, be persistent in prayer. What a great word for a time like this when we find ourselves exercising in our own homes across the community uh, because of the, the coronavirus uh, restrictions. So, so as we are exercising in, in separate locations and, and interacting over the internet, let's rejoice in hope and be patient in affliction and be persistent in prayer. Uh, so that's, uh, that's our good word from the uh, book of Romans today. And now, uh, hopefully everybody has already got their chair and their bottles, and we are going to exercise. See who's watching. All right, you can say hello to Sherry. She's watching. Hey, Let's Sherry, see who else we've back. got. Let's take a look here. Got a couple more people coming on. So we are so glad to see you guys. All right, it's good to see everybody. Thank you for joining us. And... Um, we're going to start with a, with a couple of uh, stretches to get our get our backs loosened up as we get this thing started. So what I want you to do, I want you to put your hands behind your neck like you're doing a sit-up, okay? And what we're going to do here is you're going to extend your back backwards over the chair. Casey's going to show you what it looks like from the side. We're going to extend back and look up. Oh man, that's a lot of sunshine on my face. And then we're going to look all the way down and bring your, your elbows towards your knees. And then we're gonna look up again. Back over the chair. And elbows down towards knees. And we're just gonna do a few of these. As always, I don't intend to count, so I'll do enough. And enough is when Casey tells me I should stop. Well, I definitely prefer the sunshine to rain. So, if we end up with a tan after this, that's a good thing. <laughs> And so you may not be able to tell it by watching us on video, but the river is right behind us. And we intended to show you the river because we thought it would be a great backdrop for these exercise videos. But because of our tripod situation, which is really just a folding chair with some yoga blocks, 
we were not able to uh, to show you the river, but trust us, it's back there and it's beautiful. All right, that's probably enough of that one. Yep, yeah, this is my number 10. <laughs> you counted, thank you. Yeah, I did 10. <laughs> I don't know how many I did. Okay, so that's the first part of our warm up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch sideways, okay? And so you'll, you'll hold on to your chair. I want you to reach up, really reach high, as if you're reaching as high as you can go. And then we're gonna lean sideways, all right? And just stay there for a few seconds. I usually don't count this either. I stay till I kind of feel like that's about enough, eh, which is about now. And then I switch my arms and go the other way. And we can do a few of those. So just stretch for a few seconds, go both ways. You can see that Casey's a lot more flexible than I am. <laughs> more flexible this is my job but, uh... <laughs> it's okay you got kettlebells going for you that's right have you been doing the kettlebells during quarantine scott uh not as faithful as i should but i have been i have been exercising still in quarantine hopefully you guys have been as well i have been running a lot all right i'm fairly the only one doing this one anymore <laughs> all right casey thanks we're done with that <laughs> i gotta even out the side all right even out. all right so you can swing your shoulders a couple times if you need to and we are going to get ready to exercise okay so those of you who have been here a couple times before probably know what's hap what's happening next we always start uh with a sit to stand movement and we usually will uh we'll add some kind of variation to it so today what we're going to do we're going to i want you to stand up and walk all the way around your chair, okay? So hopefully you've given yourself a little bit of space in front and back of your chair. So we're gonna stand up, walk all the way around your chair, and then sit back down again. And now we're gonna stand up and walk the other way around the chair. Oh. He's messing with our brain. And if you want to, this is a more advanced movement. You can stand up and you can walk and keep facing forwards the whole time while you sidestep and walk backwards around your chair. Okay, that is brain gym. That's what that is. <laughs> and then you can do that going to the left or counterclockwise, I believe. So you can pick any of these variations that you want, whatever you're most comfortable with. If you want to just uh, walk around your chair, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> Casey and I look very rehearsed on this one. We're going opposite directions and different uh... sides. <laughs> then we'll do a few more of these. So we, when we when we change directions, this challenges our balance, and uh, and also forces us to use our thigh muscles to get up. I think we should turn this into like Soul Train or something. You should turn a little pep in your step. <laughs> you can do that if you want to. Uh, or not. Look at all the pollen on my notes. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know what happens next. All right, we'll do one more. <laughs> all right, nicely done, everybody. Nicely done. <laughs> this is the pile of junk that fell on my uh, notes just while I was doing those. Oh, just don't breathe it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't, yeah, I feel sorry for our friends with, uh, with allergies today. Okay, this next thing we're gonna do is a new one. All right, so what you're gonna do, those of you who have bottles, you can grab your bottle. And, uh, and what we're gonna do, I want you to bend and touch the bottle to the floor, and I want you to stand and pull it all the way up to your chin, okay? If you, if you don't have the flexibility or the balance to get all the way to the floor, that's okay. And you just kind of bend to about there knees to the chin so whatever you have whatever flexibility you have or confidence you have but that's the movement okay so we're trying to get low with our bottle all the way up to our chin all right low with the bottle all the way up to the chin and we'll do a few of these i feel like we should count these okay just just to make sure all right go for it you, you count we're on five yay <laughs> I don't think it takes very much. Are you guys feeling this yet? Because that took all of two seconds. 
There we go. This is one of my new all-time favorites. And now favorites. I lost my count. I'm pretty sure that's at least 10. All right. Nicely done, everybody. <laughs> that's what I'm at, my new favorite. High-fiving so you. High-fiving you. There we you. go. High-fiving you. High-five, high-five. High okay. We liked this one so much last week that we're bringing it back again this week. This next, this next one we're going to do, you can hold a bottle in each of your hands or not, like Casey. Um, you can stand if you want to or you can sit, okay? So we, we like to give options uh, depending on your level of comfort and level of balance and how tired you are. So what you're going to do, you're going to uh, start with these bottles in front of your face, all right, with your elbows bent, and then you're going to pull your elbows back, all right? When you do that, you pull your shoulder blades together and you feel the muscles in your upper back are contracting and working together. And if you're like me, you probably are feeling right now that these muscles don't work often enough. I wish I could hear everybody's like groans, like, ah, that's what my body did. <laughs> it's completely involuntary. So I hope you guys like this one as much as Casey and I did. This was, uh, this was a highlight for me last week, and that's why we brought it back. This is like the good pain, I think. The good soreness. Yeah, I'll go along with that. Are you counting these, Casey? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the last one. <laughs> it's just that my count doesn't always go in order. I think I'm a non-sequential counter. Is that a thing? <laughs> All right. Great job, Casey. Thanks for, thanks for keeping us on track. All right, the next thing that we're going to do, all right, we are going to do um, a, uh, we're just gonna do a, a, a step to the side, a small squat, and step back together, okay? And then we'll step the other way. Small squat, feet back together. If you want to, you can hold one or both of your bottles to give yourself a little bit of uh, weight while you do this. Let's go back and forth. Casey, I'm realizing that uh, I think I put a lot of stuff for our legs in this one today. I was noticing that too. <laughs> like, oh, squats. Okay. I'm seeing a theme. Yeah, this is a, it's a good day. It's a good day to squat. <laughs> right? <laughs> is it always a good day to squat? I think it is. I think so. I mean, legs are like big muscles, right? Yes. So we should give them extra special attention. Every day. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm feeling like that was 10. That was about enough? Okay. That was 10. Maybe I'm not, not a non-sequential counter. Maybe I'm an intuitive counter. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Math was my worst subject, friends. Yeah, that's, that sounds like what, it, what it, you are. All right. <laughs> Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do, okay, you can grab one of your bottles, or again, both of your bottles if you so desire. And we're going to, uh, we're gonna bend over, and we're gonna try to bend with our hips, okay? So we try not to, to really hunch our backs when we bend over. So we're gonna bend with our hips, with your back straight, all right? And then you're gonna pull your bottles right up towards your shoulders, okay? All right, now you guys see what he did? What did I do? Now he put us in a permanent squat. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Facebook friends. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, let's look at this. Uh... I think we need uh, Gina Scott's wife to let him do his squats at home so he can get that out of his system. The next one's not a squat. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're right. I... <laughs> <laughs> This is good for us. Amen. <laughs> okay, this has got to be it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nice job, everybody. Shake oh. out your legs if you need to, right? Okay. Uh, this seemed like a better idea when I was writing these notes in my office than uh, <laughs> now while we're actually out here. So thank you for sticking with us, those of you who are uh, still, still going it. strong. Still there you it. go. High fives still for everybody. Or, or we could do like a COVID-appropriate elbow bump. Oh. Um, Okay, that is the next one. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, all right, is not gonna be a squat. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, and you can do this again. This is one that you can choose to do sitting or standing, okay? And again, with or without your bottles, all right? And what we're gonna do 
is uh, we're going to do two movements for our shoulders. And you never know, in a minute, Casey might start, start whining about her shoulders instead of her thighs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start with our arms straight out to the sides, okay? And then, uh, and, and then from here, we're just going to go straight overhead with your, uh, with your two bottles. Hopefully you didn't choose a full gallon of milk, like, uh, like Casey said. Make sure that your bottle caps are secure for this movement. Oh, yes, that's important. <laughs> Otherwise, you just got to shower. Which, which may be nice. It's, it's sort of hot out today. Oh, it's Georgia. It's always hot. This is actually a really nice movement. Well, thank you, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You should feel this behind your shoulder blades again, too, like we did on that, that other one we did earlier. Uh, right. All right, there we go. Hey, just as ordered, the wind showed up. Perfect. It's not so hot now. We hope you can still hear us. Okay, we'll say that's enough of those. Uh, the next thing is going to be another shoulder move. All right, guys. Um, and uh, just like the other one, you can go standing up like I am or sitting like Casey with or without your bottles, okay? So whatever you're comfortable with. We're gonna start with both bottles right here in front of your shoulders, okay? And you're gonna punch one of them forward and then you're gonna switch. You're gonna punch the other one forward. All right, so the punch, you punch straight forward and pull the bottle back towards your shoulder and you rotate your you rotate your upper body while you do this. So should I like be looking the other way? Keep looking forward the whole time, oh, okay. alright? So, yeah, keep your face right on the uh, right on looking at your phone so you can watch Casey do this. Alright? Oh, okay. And so Casey and I can watch ourselves do this. And we're just back and forth right here. I can dig this. This is good. Goodness. All right, that was two. That's two good ones for the how shoulders is that in a with row. Weight? It's getting harder. Yeah, I want to hear how somebody's feeling with their water bottles. Yeah, or their full gallons of milk if anybody went that route. All right, Casey, is that ten? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, friends, that's ten. Nicely done on that. Okay. We have. Okay, one more, and then uh, and then we'll swap it over to Casey for some of the uh, relaxing, uh, feel-good, stretchy, breathy stuff she does. Okay, so this next one uh, is one we've done way back. What, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand in front of your chair, I'd say about uh, two feet or so away from your chair. And uh, I want you to stand with your feet as close together as you feel comfortable, okay? This is supposed to be a balancing task, okay? And so if you're able to stand with your feet touching each other, that's great. If you're able to stand with one foot right in front of the other, that's even better, but that's not easy. Um, or or if, if that doesn't work for you, it's okay to stand with your feet under your shoulders, okay? So we want you to stand in whatever way you're comfortable with. And we're gonna stand here with your knees slightly bent, all right? And then you're going to uh, reach, uh, reach forward and touch the corner of your chair. So you can see I'm rotating across, right? So I, I reach forward and across and touch the chair. And I'm just gonna alternate back and forth. not easy. Ooh. <laughs> Don't fall, Casey. If I fall, you guys have full permission to laugh. Because that's funny. Next time we'll get Casey a set of elbow pads when we do this. <laughs> no, we'd end up using the elbow pads to try to make the phone straight. <laughs> <laughs> We did it. We did it. We overdid it. That was overachieving. Over okay, nicely done, everybody. Okay, so that is the exercise part of this. Now we're gonna get into the cool down, which is I think everybody's favorite part of what we do here. So we'll let Casey take over from here. All right. Awesome. How are you guys feeling? Are your legs smoked? All right, real quick, real quick, Scott, give us a quick pet talk about being sore. <laughs> being sore is okay. All right, guys, and. and and it's, it is actually pretty common uh, to get a little bit sore 
uh, and it might not happen today. As a matter of fact, it probably won't happen today. So, uh, but you might be a little sore tomorrow, and and you might even be a little bit sore the next day, and that's okay. Like that is kind of the process of your muscles uh, healing themselves. I get sore still if I do exercises or movements or activities that I haven't done before and uh, and muscle soreness is normal but it's temporary and so if you have a little bit of muscle soreness tomorrow and the next day um, that is okay uh, take a day off if you need to and then uh, you try to get back to exercising uh, later but but muscle soreness is, is just part of the deal when you're trying to get fit all right sore is safe there we go you heard it from the man <laughs> cool well we are um, gonna start cooling it down now so find a spot. You can be seated anywhere that's comfortable for you. If you want to sit on a pillow, if you want to sit on the edge of your bed, even on your couch, on your chair. I like to sit where I can feel my feet really touch the ground. You know, there's um, this awesome part of Genesis where God created human beings out of dirt, out of earth. And so it's just a beautiful thing to feel how supported we are every single moment of every single day. So start in a position where you feel the most supported. And what, what kind of support does that feel like today? Sometimes we feel supported because we can feel the firmness Sometimes we can feel supported because we can truly rest our full weight. Sometimes we feel supported because we can think of almost rooting down and having a connection with whatever chair, floor, surface that's underneath us. think about that scripture that that Scott shared from Romans 12 it says rejoicing in hope so breathe in the word rejoicing and breathe out the word hope you know hope hope can be kind of a, a slippery thing because what is it that we're hoping in Well, in this case, we know we're hoping for more than just an end to these trials. We're hoping for a deeper understanding relationship with God, hoping for the deeper meaning and the bigger story. So just for a moment, notice what part of your body seems to be kind of the most open to hope. Maybe there's a, a part of your body that is feeling pretty good today. Maybe that part of your body seems like it's ready for some hope. Maybe there's a part of your body that feels extra warm after all the work that we did. Maybe as you breathe, you can imagine God's hope kind of resting on that part. A lot of times people will feel hope inside their hearts. So that could be the place where you feel the hope rest. Again, breathe in, rejoicing. Let it be a deep breath, exhaling out hope. Breathe in the next part, praying. Let your breath be like a prayer. Breathing in the word praying. Breathing out the word continually, every single breath, every moment as a prayer. And then breathe in the word patient. And breathe out the word in tribulation. Breathe in God's patience, God's strength, God's stick to itness. Breathe out away from you everything that has to do with your idea of trial or tribulation. Just 
breathe it away from you. Now get some small movement going in your body. This could be just little circles for your shoulders. Did a good bit of shoulder work today. We did a good bit of work for our legs, so either with your feet right in front of you, or if you want to walk them a little bit further to the front. Taking a deep breath, reach up, inhale, exhale, bending forward. You just go however is comfortable for you. Stay there for a moment, breathe into your back. See how your back feels. Slowly walk your hands up, let's do it again. Big breath overhead, breathe in. Exhale, fold it forward. Oh, can you exhale breath? Exhale away from you, anything that's heavy. One more time, let's do the same thing. Remember how we started? Breathe in, reach up from the sky. Exhale as you bend forward. Notice where you feel supported. Notice what connects with the ground. And just breathe out. Let all the heaviness fall back to the ground. I'm so glad that you're able to be here with us today. I'm glad you made us part of your day. So a couple things to remember. Mercy Med Farm Stand is going to be open on Friday. And Farmer Keith is going to be there from 9 to 12. He can't wait to see you. Just bring any sort of mask that you have, even if it's a homemade mask. Uh, park on 3rd Avenue. And then next week, at this exact same time at 1 o'clock, we are so excited that Keith is going to do an Ask the Farmer segment. So if you're wondering, like, what should I be eating? How do I get myself back on track with my nutrition? What are spring vegetables that are in season? And what in the world can I do with them? Uh, Keith is going to answer all those questions. And he's going to give you a little tour of the farm. So that is going to happen next Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Uh, today we have this available on Facebook, so you can share this with family and friends. And we've also recorded this to our Mercy Med YouTube as well. So you can get our YouTube by searching Mercy Med on YouTube or on our website. All right, what else, Scott? That's it. Guys, thanks for coming. It is so good to see some familiar names, and uh, it's, it's fun exercising with you, and we look forward to the next time we get to do this. So thanks for coming, guys. All right, so since we sit up by the river, I'm feeling like you guys deserve a view of the river. Give me a thumbs up or something. What do you think, Chrissy? Y'all want to see the river, right? Because Scott had picked out this spot. It's amazing. All right, here we go. We're going for the river.